Katie today and I'm going to show you how you can set up your own business and work from home, live the dream. Is this like your house every morning? Rushing to get the kids to school, rushing to get yourself to work. Why don't we just quit the rat race and set up our own business, be our own boss and work from home. Can you get off of there now and get your bags ready? Piano books need to go in your bags. Freya, where are you? Come on kids, let's go. With all this technology that surrounds us, it's now easier than ever to set up your own business from home. In fact, a growing number of women are doing just that, and very successfully too. So let's hear from someone who has achieved just that, and she's overcome massive hurdles in order to do it. Tala Rasi was born in Iran, where women's choices are much more limited. She created a swimwear company of all things. Here are Tala's five tips to overcome the challenges that you may face. Number one would be passion, just because again, when things get hard, um, you'll, you'll never forget the reason why you got started. Um, growing up in Iran, I think, being under so many restrictions and, you know, when I grew up there, there were no mainstream designer boutiques and women in the streets were covered and, you know, you had to cover yourself when you went to school. But I would watch like TV shows like Baywatch or 90210 and wanted to follow the trends that those kids were following. And, um, you know, on my journey, I realized that fashion was not about the amount of clothing that you put on or take off, but it was about the freedom that goes with that. It really inspired me to kind of build this label to celebrate the beauty of women, but also empower women to follow their dreams. Two would be the journey, um, remembering that, the, you know, no matter how many times you fail and how hard it gets, um, you always um, can learn something from it and not taking it to the heart. Um, and I tried to break into one of the most um, expensive and hardest industries in the world, which is fashion. There is so much competition, and I tried to do that from a city that is not very fashion savvy. Um, Washington DC is very political and not many people are, you know, rocking bathing suits here. So I, I think I faced many challenges. Three being, um, the rejections. It's not about you. Just like any dreamer, I was taking everything to heart, uh, when I first got started. I think there was many rejections and I couldn't understand why people didn't love what I was creating because I truly believed in it. Um, and for um, having the ability to continue to push forward and waking up with some sort of a dedication. And, and five, really having something that you want to make a difference or a change. Um, next thing for me is I want to expand my swimmer line to activewear just because I want to be able to capture many more women than I am um, with my swimwear. And also I hope to be able to create a documentary on uh, the meaning of fashion is freedom. Um, you know, what fashion means as a form of freedom to women all around the world. That's it for your BLT sandwich for today. More business, lifestyle and technology stories every Wednesday. And next week we're going to be talking all things wax. Shall we get you waxed, Bear? No? I don't think he's that impressed. Anything from underarms, legs, eyebrows and anywhere else, don't miss it.